One alternative that you can use if you're really trying to lower your signature, uh, you've got an appendix carry pistol on, uh, and instead, and you want to carry a blade, um, instead of carrying uh, a knife, you just want to carry one instead of one here and then one here on the clip. Uh, this knife, this knife design, it's uh, it's got a square edge, so it cuts out the uh, the outline, and this goes in your pocket. So you can take this and you put it in your front pocket. And once you get it in there, the, the square shape uh, looks like a phone or a wallet. And the knife is completely hidden. But when you're ready to use it, it comes out and you've got a, a finger groove here. Nice. So you can punch, control the blade real well. And you still got knuckles out, blade out, orientation of the knife. And this just uh, cuts the signature down. You don't have that telltale clip on your pants that says to everybody, hey, you've got a knife. And generally the guys that have the clip have the gun, you know, just kind of all, everybody kind of works in the same um, area. We all kind of dress the same. We all kind of carry the same stuff. So if you're trying to lower your profile, it might, something like that might be a little better option. Uh, another thing, um, when we were helping with the air marshal program many years ago, as they were starting to change things up, um, one of the suggestions was the way that you carry your knife is you can take your knife with the clip on it and put it behind your belt buckle running horizontally. Uh, you can still take the clip and hook it into the pants and it's hidden you know, behind your belt buckle. But the other is just do it old school and just drop it down in your pocket altogether so there's no clip. It takes a while to get to it, a little longer than you would normally with the clip. But those are just some options for running, um, running around with your knife. Different ways.